So in the past few months, I've been personally feeling like there's more to what I'm doing. Like, I really can't explain it. My whole life I've been into food and fitness, but there was something else like kind of pulling on me saying, there's something else that I need to, to figure out. So, you know, what I do, especially when I have something pulling on me like that is to go into prayer. And what I've been praying for, for the past few months is, you know, praying to God, what is your will? What is, what is my purpose? Because I feel like fitness and food isn't the actual thing. So one day, you know, this is after a few months, I'm praying and I'm up one day and I just like, you know, I, I would say it's more like a daydream, but I call it a vision. I vision four things in front of my eyes along with like visual, visual images of stuff that I need to change. And it, it, it kind of just like, I don't know if you guys know, but like a, like a two weeks ago, I got baptized and I got baptized mostly because of this vision that I saw. I'm telling you guys these things because I want you to know there's more to me other than just fitness and cooking. And there's also more to you than your profession. There's actually, you know, something else that we all supposed to be, you know, have a purpose of doing. And I believe one of those things is helping each other and learning about God and, you know, being disciples here on this earth while we're here. And what I, what I vision were these four things. Number one, the first vision was like I didn't when people hear when they say they hear from God I didn't hear any type of like audible voice right I got a vision it wasn't I wasn't sleeping I was up just like this and I was like I just zoned out right so the four things I saw was one thing was telling me to get rid of lust any type of sexual immorality and adultery, right? The visions came up, women came up. Um, it's like I knew exactly what God was talking about. You know, whether you watch porn, whether you look at women in a certain way and think about stuff, whether you're doing something outside of your marriage, whether you're just, you know, having sex with multiple women, this is what he was covering when he told me this. So that was number one. Number two was uh, smoking, right? And smoking marijuana specifically. People, people use marijuana as, you know, just a regular, regular thing where they just smoke it either for, you know, pain purposes, to relax. Um, Sometimes it really feels like marijuana has no type of harm, but this vision was number two. All right, this was the second thing that I saw in my vision. Number three, was um, social media. And actually for me, social media was more Instagram because that's my biggest platform. And the image came, it was like, stop putting social media before me. So what I got convicted with in that one was, I usually wake up, you know, sometimes I'm in a rush. I gotta get content up at a certain time. And when I'm really focused on getting that task done, I don't acknowledge God, which means I was using Instagram or social media more as an idol before even, you know, before even greeting or saying something to the, to the creator. So that was number three for me. And number four was comparison, right? Comparison is a big thing. Like people compare themselves through social media. They compare themselves through success. Any type of success it could be family, it could be clothes, it could be money, it could be, you know, it's called coveting, right? It's just have it's one what somebody else has, and really, whenever you compare yourself, it always makes you feel bad, right? And that's one thing that I was also dealing with. So these four things, I knew that it couldn't have come from anywhere else but from God. And when immediately when I got these things. I changed right away. Like I knew some stuff I needed to change. Following, like I said, if I fast forward from that, from that vision 
to me getting baptized. That was one of the reasons because I felt like I needed to refresh my life. I wanted to uh, become new and like start over. So one other thing is I never got, right? I never got the thing I was looking for, which was like my will. What is my actual, what is my actual will? What, am I, what is my purpose here on earth? Is it to help people with fitness? Yeah, I'm sure I have a, you know, a gift for helping people get healthy. Is it cooking? Yeah, because food helps people live longer, eat healthier, you know, all has something to do with uh, health and wellness, which is something that I'm very passionate about. But we all have something else, right? And the will, and the will my purpose, is something that I'm still searching for. So I had a mentor, um, prayed over me, he asked me, I think that if you're obedient to these four things, then you'll get the answer that you're looking for. So one thing I wanted, like, you're probably asking me, why are you sharing this stuff? I'm sharing it with you because you might be in the same position, right? You might be thinking to yourself, what else is there in life for me to do? Like, I know I'm just not supposed to be here working at this job. I know I'm not supposed to be only doing what I'm doing. It's like unfulfilling. Even if you're at the highest level of your career, you still might feel like there's something else missing. And that's why I'm sharing this with you because if you're having this same type of feeling, I want you to do what I did, right? And that's seek, you know, that's get on your knees, seek God in prayer. That is, you know, to pray. Start start removing things that you feel like that doesn't belong, that doesn't make you fulfill. Like change what you're doing because if you keep doing the same thing, you're just gonna keep getting the same results. So I'm sharing this with you guys because I really want you guys to know more about me. You know, I'm not only doing this for me, I'm actually doing this for you guys and if we can all be transparent with each other if we can share our struggles if we can come to each other and say hey I need help with this can you help me with this and be open about it a lot of us will get further in life so um, I want to let you guys know you know I'm here if you want to talk about something I'm actually thinking of starting like you know men's group fellowship group where all of us can openly talk about stuff and if you guys have any idea of, you know, want to be a part of that? Leave some, leave some, uh, leave some comments. You no, know? share, share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're feeling, how you're doing. I promise you guys, if you send me an email, which will also be attached to this, and we can also cover this kind of stuff in prayer. We can, we, we can get on the phone. Whatever we got to do, guys. I want all of us to fulfill our purpose in life, and this is why I'm here sharing this video with you. So. Guys, like I said, leave a like, share this with somebody, contact me, leave some love in the comments, and I'll keep doing these type of videos, letting you know where I'm going in my spiritual life as well. Guys, you're here with Josh Bailey, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back again.